before I started working on this play, I didn't really know much about legal aid, to be honest. I don't think you really think about legal aid unless it happens to you. You use it when you, you need it. But of course, with everything that's going on in the world, with cuts and the austerity period we're living through, it, 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 that safety net has gone. I think it's really important that a play like this, that's dealing with the subject matter, is informed by people's real life experience, whether that is people people who work in the law or people who need the law. I know Rebecca went to meet lots and lots of different people and to hear lots and lots of different stories, to know what it's like both intellectually and emotionally when you're, when you're dealing with this. Rebecca and, and I taught along with Carol Storer, who's a, a legal aid practitioners group, and, and we talked about the types of clients that we dealt with, types of work that we did, uh, and, and what's the consequences of the legal aid cuts. And it's not good. Until um, the, the reforms that were brought in two years ago, it would pay for very common sort of uh, cases, but a lot went. Employment law, all of it went. Uh, a good deal of housing law, a good deal of family law, and those are really the sorts of areas of law that you know, anybody in their sort of working lives or ordinary lives are like to bump into when things go wrong. Legal aid has been cut massively and, and people that used to qualify for legal aid no longer do. I had a client who was accused of an awful crime um, that he was adamant he hadn't committed but because of the nature of the crime he was accused of he lost his job. He then it, was um, separated from his wife, from the pressure of it all, and was made homeless. And he didn't want to tell me that he'd been made homeless, but because I'd met him and was able to see him a few times, I noticed the difference in how he looked, how he was presenting, and I asked him, you know, what's going on, and he opened up. Because I had noticed that, I was able to get him help, get him in a hostel, he was able to pick himself up, and when it did come to trial, he was in a better place mentally. And luckily, he was fully acquitted and got his life back. You can't do that anymore, and, and, and that's having an ongoing effect on people who are vulnerable, that are being taken through the system, and are just not getting the help and support that they deserve. But the fact of the matter is, is if they could pay for it, um, then they would be getting that. I suppose ultimately, it's about the sort of society we want to live in. You know, do we want a society where lots of people are just excluded from any recourse to justice, particularly in the civil system, or do we want a, a fair and just society? That's really what it comes down to. The court system mainly has been designed on the basis that people are going to be legally represented. Now that so many people are having to represent themselves, uh, they are having to get their heads around some of these, a lot of these rules, and it's very difficult for them to do it. And so the cases take much longer, which is expensive for the court system, and it doesn't produce justice in the way that it ought to. We're, we're a, a, a society that, that has a strong sort of sense of social justice, I believe, I continue to believe. Um, and so I think there will come a point at which people will, will, will recognise that A, this is unfair, and B, it's counterproductive and will cost more in the end. How can it ever be right that you get a better service um, when your liberty is at stake just because you can afford to pay for it? I think using theatre, using art generally as a way of getting a message across is really important because you know, art allows a sort of um, a window onto other people's lives, doesn't it? And, and, and that's what this is, this is going to do. I know that she's got a full picture of what's happening out there and I know that that's reflected in the play, which is great, really heartening for us, for you know, our everyday working lives to be put on stage in this way.